you're familiar with computers, you may have heard the expression garbage in, garbage out. Meaning that if you put inaccurate or invalid data into a computer, that's exactly what you get out. So how does that relate to them? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this issue of Alert. So what we're going to be talking about is quality rather than garbage. Put quality in and you'll get quality out. Most shipboard systems depend on some level of human involvement. But the human link can be fragile and so it needs to be managed, monitored and nurtured. In other words, it needs some quality input. Happy, well-trained and motivated mariners are essential to the safe running and commercial efficiency of any ship. Breakdowns in communication and teamwork are common factors in many major P&I claims. This has led to the development of maritime bridge or engineering resource management training which focuses on personal attitudes rather than the conventional navigation, ship handling or engineering skills. And the aim of this is to foster better behaviour where all available resources such as bridge officers, engineers, pilots and even shore personnel are brought together so they can work together to ensure the safest possible operation of the ship. Another interesting development is the US Coast Guard's Crew Endurance Management Program for improving performance, safety and morale while at the same time carrying out job-related challenges. It addresses factors such as sleeping and eating times, efforts to reduce noise for off-watch personnel and the consideration of individual behaviours such as diet, exercise and stress. So, there is already a lot being done. People are starting to think seriously about how to reduce health risks. That thinking is going on in a growing number of shipping companies, forward-looking insurers, trade unions and maritime authorities. And increasingly, the focus is on quality of input and a holistic approach. When you look at seafarers' well-being, yes, of course, you need to make sure that medical provisions and procedures on board match up to international statutory requirements. But it is empowering seafarers, providing them with an education in healthy lifestyle choices that really adds value and makes the significant difference. A holistic approach must consider three fundamental things, mind, body and spirit. One such approach is shown here, the seven needs of the mariner. In each case, there are suggested drivers and motivators leading to the seven needs. Competence, attitude, motivation, happy and healthy lifestyle, safe and secure working environment, self-actualization and moral values. Without a balanced lifestyle, seafarers become vulnerable. Vulnerability translates into inefficiency and when it comes to life on board, there is the problem that concentration on the job in hand, as well as general concentration, can drop to dangerous levels. Attention to the whole person, to mind, body and spirit, enables and empowers the individual to a point where personal behaviour and lifestyle are not only healthy for the individual, but also reflect in the interaction with the rest of the crew. So, healthy, happy, well-trained and motivated seafarers are essential to the safe running and commercial efficiency of any ship. And that means seafarers who possess the appropriate skills for vigilant and both physically and mentally fit. That's it for this programme. But you'll find more information in the issue itself, including opinion and comments from marine professionals worldwide. Just visit the website. Hope we meet again soon.